I'm showing you guys how I got this style today, but right before we get into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on my channel. And also, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Okay, jumping right into the video, I sectioned off my hair. I didn't part it. I don't want any distinct parts um, while I'm doing these Bantu knots. So I sectioned off the front part. And I'm just going to divide those part into those parts into smaller sections, as you see right here. This is the only part I'm going to be using the comb, and you really don't want to use a wide tooth comb to part off your part, but that's what I had on hand. And the product I'm using is the African Pride um, Miracle Cream. It's for kids. It's a lightweight cream, and that's why I decided to use it because if you want your bantu knot out to be nice and fluffy, you want something lighter. And you guys, I'm so sorry about this video being so blurry. Um, my camera was off uh off focus and i didn't know until i made the whole video so i had to end up making this video like three times so my camera's in focus right here so you guys can see me rolling up the bantu knot better here um i just twisted my hair until it started to kind of bend on its own but then you don't want it super tight at your root because it will put strain on your hair. So kind of leave enough room where it won't be so tight. And you can do that by keeping your hand in place there. And then I'm trying to roll up the rest of it. And I didn't show you guys where I put my cream on the ends of my hair. But it is important to put a little cream on there because this was my third time doing it. So I just kind of want to show you guys the idea of how I rolled the bantu knot. Um, but you only want a little bit of product, not a lot because you don't want your hair weighed down. Remember, you want it to be nice and fluffy. And right here, you can see the size section that I'm taking to Bantu knot. Um, you don't want them too small, and you kind of want them medium size, depending on what look you like. I like mine this size because, to me, it turns out with enough definition and is big enough so it doesn't look like a lot of little spaghetti strings in your hair, if you understand what I'm saying. And I had about 11 bantu knots once I finished. Um, my hair was mostly dry, so once I finished, I did take a water bottle and spray. I sprayed my hair. That's how you can wet it and keep it from being soaked and so it can dry fast. You don't want to wet the whole strand of hair. You just want to wet it when it's rolled up in a ball and mist the hair, not like drown it with water. And right here, I'm taking some of my favorite oil and just rubbing it all over my hands as I begin to unravel the bantu knots. And you want to be gentle. Just unroll it the, way, the opposite way that you rolled it. And then it should come right or loose. If it doesn't, then try to unravel it just a tiny bit and find the tip of it and gently pull it um, a loose. After I had taken all of them down, I began to pull them apart and try to fluff it out so your whole head can look full. And if you want to, you can take a, a pick or something like that and go at your roots.
here's the up close look so you guys can see the definition. So you guys, this is the finished look. I decided to pin up the side. I just like that style better. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how do you feel about this style. And don't forget to share this video because we all know that sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video.